Hey there, I'm Wes and we are back. It's been a while since we've been here painting together, but I have been busy and I do have a lot of stuff for you guys. I am doing a new series. It's Halloween, it's fall, right? So we're all ready for some classic horror movie stuff, right? So we're gonna start with The Bride Frankenstein today. I'm gonna do a whole series of the old Universal monsters, and that's The Bride of Frankenstein. Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula, Metaluna, Creature from the Black Lagoon. We'll see how many I get through. Uh, yeah, before Halloween, it's, you know, but like I said, I've got a good head start. If you notice, the canvas is blank. That's because everything is already at the gallery. Getting ready to start something new there, but through the magic of time-lapse photography from over here, we are going to go back in time and see it happen. So we're gonna go jump right in over there to the computer where we're gonna put the time lapse together and then get this to the YouTubes so that you guys can watch and we're all gonna have fun, we're gonna have a good time. But I know you guys aren't here to listen to me talk and ramble necessarily. Let's quit wasting time, right? You ready? Let's go. Let's do it over here now. Hey guys, look at there, prepping the canvas with some linseed oil. Yep, yep, working in the background, darks, back to front, that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to give you a play-by-play -play on this. Uh, we're just going to talk about some of the techniques that you, that you might see going by. It's almost impossible uh, to try and do a play-by-play -play on something that happens this fast. But uh, when we talk about prepping the canvas with the linseed oil, I don't use thinners. Uh, or any harsh chemicals, it is just linseed oil and paint. It's safer, it doesn't stink as bad. It's safer is a relative term, but we like it a little better. When I say we, I'm, I'm just talking about me. But anyway, so that helps the, the paint. When we're talking about covering large areas, we want to be able to move a lot of paint, and we need to kind of prep the surface with a little linseed oil, and that helps everything just kind of slide and move across the surface and it makes it a little easier on us since we're not using thinners. Uh, and like I said, we work in dark shapes, blocking in colors, we're just working back to front. And the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, brushes. You'll notice I've got some black handled brushes and you'll see a few yellow handled brush brushes come up especially as we start to get into the detail. What those are, uh, the black handled brushes are a hog hair type brush. They're very stiff. Uh, you can really smoosh the paint into the canvas and move thick uh, globs of paint around when you want that really, uh, you know, when you want to see those brush strokes. And then we have the uh, yellow handled brush. Wait, the light changed. That's kind of weird. Do you guys like the music? Oh, wait, more Halloween weirdness. Anyway, so the yellow handle brushes are a sable style brush. Uh, they are softer. They are finer. They're easier to control. Uh, and we can get our details done a lot easier with that. Now, you're not going to be able to move as much paint around uh, with the soft brushes just because they can't, they can't hold it like that. Uh, but you can work in the small tight areas when you're starting to tighten this thing up. Yeah, in the details like we're seeing now. And we zoomed in. Uh, it's it's always good to, to, you know, and I keep a bunch of brushes. You see I have a whole handful of brushes, you know, and I've got one that I use to kind of soften detail with too. Uh, and it, it is, that's all I do with it. It's a blending brush. Uh, I don't know what it's actually called, but that's what I do with it. And, you know, I'll make a mark, I'll kind of soften and blend that so that it doesn't just look like paint laying on top of that. And we're starting to work in the highlights again with the hog hair brush because it's kind of kind of scrumble it in there. Uh, so, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're getting ready to finish this one up and I just want to say if you do enjoy it, stick around. We're going to do Frankenstein's Monster next and a whole bunch of others. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel or check my Instagram out, at Wes Flannery. And I hope to see you real soon. It's been fun and spooky, right?